Today's gonna be rough, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Holy. Yeah. I'm actually going on a date. And my heart's gonna be shattered in like a few weeks. <laughs> um, I have tea on that later. I'm not gonna expose myself on YouTube like that. This is also exposing me. This is so bad. You know my little ducklings? This is my brain. Welcome to my brain. Yeah! Oh my god! I just want the pink one. This one is, I think, eggnog again. There's a pink one, and I want the pink one. So bad. Oh. Mm -mm. This is caramel. Whoops. Happy Vlogmas Day 10. I got it. <laughs> okay, hello. It is a very late start to the vlog. I have been editing and kind of goofing off watching YouTube videos. Anyway, today is leg day. I literally, my legs, my leg hair, <laughs> I haven't shaved my legs in so long. So I will not be wearing shorts today. It's tragic. Like it's, it's so bad. I kind of want to wear these leggings. I'm feeling a gray vibe. And then since I'm wearing leggings, wear like a tank top. It is 77 degrees out. Was I not just saying yesterday how it was 30? Yeah. Welcome to Texas, everyone. Do, 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 do. I feel like I keep wearing the same top. I need to, like, organize all of this crap. Mm. Yeah, like, I don't want to wear long sleeves. What top do I wear? I could wear the cutesy, you know, the sports bra that I wear out sometimes. <laughs> but I got it from Athleta, or whatever it's called. Athleta. That sounds right. Maybe that's the vibe for today. Yeah. Bad idea for these leggings. I forgot that i forgot how see-through these were not ideal for a leg day also i just want to point out i know i'm in this t-shirt like literally all the time i sleep in it i don't just like wear it on a daily basis i mean i guess i kind of am <laughs> but i don't just like wear it all day i really just wake up in it oh where are those red shorts i kind of want to wear the red shorts oh yeah i decided i'm just gonna wear shorts and say screw it because like who who's really gonna care who's gonna pay attention you know what where are those? Oh, Adam. As I tear apart my entire drawer. Man, I need to reorganize this <laughs> so bad. Okay, so it's a shorts and tank kind of day. All right, this is the gym fit. Um, I'm wearing this t-shirt on my way there because I don't want to just wear like a tank top. But I'm wearing this top. Uh, what am I saying? Today's going to be rough, you guys. Take two. Here's the fit. <laughs> this, I'm just wearing a plain t-shirt. I think this is like a um, Comfort Colors t-shirt from Hobby Lobby that I got. Just like a fun t-shirt, I don't know. Um, these shorts are from First Form, and then the top, Athleta. And then I finally wear my blazers today. I finally had the energy to put them on. Well, the main reason I haven't been wearing them is because I had like this huge dot on my toe, which is still there. It's just not as bad. So, wearing those today, and I guess we'll get going. I need to make my pre-workout, get the energy flowing because it is not there. I do not want to go to the gym today, like at all. I would do, I would rather do anything else. It's discipline, ladies and gentlemen. It's discipline. Motivation is not going to be there all the time. It hasn't been there for me for like a month, maybe. It's been a minute since I've been like excited to go to the gym. It's so frustrating, but we're going to keep going. We made it. We're walking there as much as I don't want to go. And I think what I need to start doing again is using my Strong app, which is where I, I like logged all my workouts. Like I used to plan out my workouts and lately I haven't been. So I think that's part of my problem. Also my eyelashes, I don't know what is happening, but you'll know whenever like the top and the bottom like connect and then like whenever you blink, you like feel them move. That's what is happening. And I've like, I've used tweezers. I've used a mirror. I've gone up close and looked at them. I don't know what is happening, but it's driving me up the freaking wall. I'm going to be over here later tonight. We have a fun, special little fancy dinner because Faith is actually moving, so it's going to be our last dinner with everyone.
What? Were you gonna try to record with that? What's up? I just got back from the gym and I also had some soup for post-workout food. It, well, I did not actually just get back from the gym. I got back like two hours ago, <laughs> but it's about five o'clock or it's getting there. I, th I think it's like five. Um, Marley is snoozing away. She was literally in my office chair all day napping and now she's napping here. You have such a rough life. Look how cute. Listen to her breathe. I think she stopped breathing. No, we have dinner reservations tonight at Catbird, which is like this really fancy, like cute little, it's a really cool restaurant. And so we're gonna go there and then we're also gonna go, I think, to like a holiday themed Christmas bar before we go because reservations aren't until 8.45. But I'm excited to like dress up, be cute, you know, whatever. So I'm about to take a shower. I'm gonna like full on wash my hair and everything. Cause I, like every part of me was sweating earlier. Also, I just wanna touch on like exercise and stuff that you do in the gym so you're if you're like newly into weight training or anything or just like go to the gym i guess frequently if you go to the gym at all doesn't matter um i used to think that i would have to do like between eight and ten different exercises for like a good effective workout when in reality like you don't need to be doing that i went into the gym for a leg day i did lunges weighted lunges hip thrusts rdls and bulgarian split squats just four things just four things, but I focused on form. I went slow and I made, sh like I wasn't just going through the motions. I wasn't just going through each set just to get it done. Like I was pushing myself. I went slow, made sure I could, I felt the mind to muscle connection, whatever. So just keep that in mind because like I literally would do so many things on a leg day and not do them like effectively or like in good form to where I actually see progress. But anyway, that's my little my mini spiel, but I'm gonna go shower. All right, we got ready. This is the fit. Very, I don't know how I feel about it, but I don't really feel like changing it. This top is from some boutique here. I forget what it's called. Um, the skirt is from Forever 21, and then I'm wearing my booties with the red laces. Don't worry, I have shorts underneath it. I'm not just like flashing you guys. Um, but no, these short or shoes are from Dillard's, and I love them, but we're going to some Christmas bar, I think. We don't know what bar yet. We literally don't, we have no idea. But we're meeting soon, so I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Look at Sid stepping out. Ooh, Ooh. we're stepping out on the town today. <laughs> Coffee, I forgot. With lemon? Oh I haven't tried it yet. Let's see. That's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, so you win. I'm <laughs> nervous. I'm nervous. Oh, it is really good. Oh shoot. I know, Umbrella on the run. Wait, I'm gonna take a picture of you. Oh 
Holy. Yeah. That's, yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mine's like chocolate, tequila, weird combo, but I'm not mad about it. Ba -la 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 -la. Ba -la -la. We're flying away. Oh Do you use hashtags? I, I like read all of your or I, the other day I read all of your hashtags on one of your posts because I was curious to see what you put on there. You don't need I don't know why, but the T-Rex reminds me of Marley. And the little like whenever she cuddles up, Marley. every animal reminds me of Marley though. Look at Erica Broad being an influencer. Erica Broad. Anywhere. Look Maddie's late night rant. <laughs> this is the first planned rant that I have just because I know I didn't get a lot of footage today so I don't want this vlog to be like absurdly short but it is 11 30. Me and my roommates like we do not we're always in bed by like at least 9 30 on the weekdays and we got back from dinner Marley. <sighs> anyway me and my roommates we don't go to bed or we're always in bed by at least 9 30 to go to sleep and we didn't get back from dinner until like 11 o'clock like that's a big deal it's a thursday so um yeah no that's just like really weird also i just want to say i i shaved my legs we're nice and smooth i know i was complaining about it earlier but it, it feels so weird to have smooth legs but yeah no dinner was a lot of fun the reason why we had dinner tonight was because faith um she actually is moving so it was more of like a goodbye dinner sort of thing y'all literally look forward to this weekend's vlog i'm so freaking excited so tomorrow i'm actually going on a day um i have tea on that later saturday i'm going on a bar crawl and it's like a christmas themed bar crawl i have a reindeer pantsuit that i'm wearing dude I, it's gonna be so freaking fun i'm so excited but yeah no this date tomorrow so i know i've been telling you guys kind of sharing like the smallest little details of my dating life i guess recently Yes, I'm going on a date tomorrow, but it's not with the same guy. It's with a new guy. I don't know, I feel like I need to explain that. <laughs> just because I am kind of like sharing this life, so I don't want to get y'all like mixed up. I'll just be completely honest. I just, I wasn't feeling it romantically, honestly. I just thought it was more of like a friendship brotherly sort of thing. But no, no hard feelings. We literally went on two dates. Anyway, so that's that. So I'm really excited. We actually went on a date this past Monday. And literally, it was so fun. It was so freaking fun. We went to like a arcade. It was like, it's called Cidercade. I don't know exactly where it is in Dallas. It's it's not far. But no, it was fun. We played like arcade games, talked for a little bit, you know, whatever. But no, I, I had a lot of fun. I think we both did. It was a good time. And then we're getting dinner tomorrow and then we're going to mini golf. But except it's more than just like mini golf. It's like a bar golf thing like it's not just like a classic mini golf kitty thing it's like an adult mini golf it's gonna be so freaking fun and we're getting mexican food my favorite and we're gonna go to uncle julia's which is one of my favorite mexican which is one of my favorite me i'm too excited <laughs> which is one of my favorite mexican restaurants and then i might see him on the bar crawl on saturday so it's like lots of happening i don't know why i'm like telling you guys all of this because like literally anything could happen I guess it doesn't really matter, but I feel like it's kind of entertaining to kind of like follow around someone's like dating life. But that's me updating you guys because it's fun. <laughs> I posted a TikTok earlier. If you know, you know. I'm not going to explain what it is because it exposes me way too much. So if you're a TikTok fan, 
then you can watch it on TikTok. But other than that, I'm not gonna expose myself to YouTube like that. Even though it's like up on the internet for everyone to see, I still just feel weird talking about it. Cause like, literally I know, like obviously he's looked at my social media channels, right? Like if I told him that I do social media for a living, he's probably like, well, what do you do? And then like, look me up, right? I don't know, I don't know what guys do. I feel like I'm psycho though. Like I always go on like Facebook and like Instagram. Like I check out people's lives, but a lot of the times it's all private. So I don't really get to find out as much as I would like in my secret FBI research. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what else to ramble about. Like nothing new other than that. Tomorrow, okay, so I have a wedding next week. You know what, I can talk about this. I need y'all's opinion actually. This is also exposing me. This is so bad. Uh, so I need to go shopping tomorrow because I have a wedding next Saturday that I am going to and I have a plus one, but I haven't figured out, I haven't figured out who that plus one is going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be this guy that I'm going to go on a date with tomorrow. We should give him a nickname. I already have a nickname for him that like me and my friends call him, but like it doesn't make any sense. Hopefully he won't find it weird because like I literally have known him for like a week, not even a well, like a week. Not even a week. What am I saying? Like five days. <laughs> like, is that weird? Like, hey, you want to be my wedding date? Like, I don't know. But I feel like it would be fun. I just need to figure out if he's going to be in town. But yeah, no, my point to all of that is tomorrow I need to find a dress to wear. And it's so hard because, like, it's going to be cold. Like, it's December. What the heck do you wear to a wedding in the cold? So that's my mission for tomorrow. My plan. But no, yeah, is it weird to ask a guy to a wedding? I don't think so. Like, I think you get along great with the people. I feel like I'm really good at reading people when I first meet them. I don't know what it is, but I'm like, I feel like I know how you would act if you met this one person or if you met this group of people. Like, I think you would get along really well. We get along well. Like, you'd have a fun time. Should I just, like, ask him tomorrow? Okay, you want to go to the wedding with me next week? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, by the time y'all are watching this, I probably have already asked him. So it's, like, irrelevant at this point. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll get too chicken and not ask him tomorrow. Or maybe I'll just be bold and be like, so, here's the deal. Oh, uh, but yeah, no, no. Okay, so let's go back to this date thing on Monday that we had. Because I never explained that I went on a date. Because, like, Monday's vlog was, like, cut in half. Like, I combined it with two things. Like, I didn't even realize I didn't vlog that night. But, like, you know how I, in my vlogmas day two, I never explained. Like, I have to, like, I need to start going into dates thinking, do I actually like them? Not worrying about them liking me. Because whenever I start worrying about if they like me, that's when I start the whole chase aspect. Because I'm a, you know, avoidance like the chase. They want to try and get them, and once they have them, they go away. If I switch that around, I'll fix, fix, kind of like my mindset on that. Um, and so that's what I did. And you know what? So far, so good. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, like if this works out. Okay. In my mind, I feel like it's going to work out. I don't know. I just have a weird feeling about it. I could be so wrong too about all of this and my heart's gonna be shattered in like a few weeks but if i'm not wrong um which i don't think i am but again like i said anything could happen i have a weird feeling that it's going to happen and i've had a feeling about these people like for example june july there's this guy i'm like i know for a fact that if i were to go all in in this situation i would be dating this guy within weeks like a few weeks and that freaked me out and so i said peace um I hate that I did that. I really do. But it's good that I'm realizing that's why I did that. But now I'm like, if I go all in, it's going to work out. Like, that's exciting. I'm not feeling the urge to be like, oh, no. We're growing. Self-growth. Self-improvement. That's a big step. I think it's a big step. Who knows? Maybe I'm just all in my head about it. <laughs> no, I don't think I am. Because it's not like this is the first guy that I've tried this with. Because I've already tried it with someone else. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. This is my brain. Welcome to my brain. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Love you guys, and I'll see y'all in tomorrow's vlog.